Hey, I'm Sharon, and welcome to readings. I've had a request to do Pisces with Pisces. We're going to go to the Radiant Rider. Pisces and Pisces. Oh, oh, oh. oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Please remember, please, please remember that these are not personal readings. Use your intuition. Know where your standing is. Okay? Please don't take this as a personal reading. These are just the energies that Spirit's picking up on. Spirit very, very strong in the room, though. Uh, man. Doubled up in Pisces. Phew, you can only imagine the energies that are pouring in here. Pisces is Pisces. We're going to put six cards out for you and six cards out for them. We're going to find out what's going on. Let's get her on and let's get her done. Pisces, Pisces. You have the Eight of Cups in the reverse, Pisces. You have the Two of Cups. The Nine of Swords in the reverse. Good card to see for you. The Emperor reversed. Eight of Wands, reversed. Oh, am I upside down? The Queen of Swords, straight up. Okay. Let's go to Pisces. Spirit. Let's give him a break. Two of Pentacles. Lovers. Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> uh, the Two of Wands. Strength. Holy crap, Six of Cups. Wow. Wowie, well, wow, wow. Pisces, you haven't gone anywhere. But you're trying. This is a very strong soulmate connection, by the way. Just in case you didn't know. A uh, very, very strong soulmate connection. You haven't really walked away from this. If you did, you wouldn't really be asking for the reading. Which, by the way, I don't have my reading rings on. So if you'll just give me one moment. Pisces. Give me one moment. Get a couple of reading rings on. It's a lot of energy. A lot of energy. Hold on, Pisces. <clears throat> Just a couple more. All right. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go. That's better. I feel like I'm, uh, now I feel like I'm reading. And now the clock goes off. Okay, so as I said, it's a very strong soulmate. This, this is someone's hard to leave. But with the Eight of Cups reverse, this is telling me that you're really not, you're really not healed from it. You're really still looking back much at another Pisces. Not as bad as it used to be with the Nine of Swords in the reverse. This is Nightmare Flipped. So this is, I really do feel, Pisces, that you are finally getting some rest and some sleep. Not feeling so much that, oh my God, you know, that pacing and not eating or crying. And you, know, you probably still cry, but it's not so much. Time heals. Emperor reverse and the Eight of Wands reverse. This is someone that steered your ship for you. But now taking control of your ship. What do I mean by that? This is someone who came in and changed your life and showed you how to steer your ship. And now you're used to 
that way of steering, only to have to relearn how to steer your own ship. I really do feel that this um, other Pisces um, may have shown you a different way of living, a different way of life. There is no communication. It appears here that another side is speaking. With the Queen of Swords coming out here, it's a little bit concerning. Now, it's either I'm making a judgment call and I'm saying, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm saying that I'm doing me, I'm going to love me, I'm taking care of me. Wonderful. Or it could be maybe, 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 I'm going to make a judgment call on this other Pisces. Maybe I'll text them, or maybe maybe I'll do this, or maybe I'll do that. Um, but um, I really hope it's not that. Uh, maybe text them yes and put up boundaries. Boundaries have to be put up here. Especially, well, I'm a Pisces. What kind of boundaries do I want? Don't invade my privacy is one. Now... But two Pisces together should know. But but the thing is, are you co-joined, you know? When you want time alone, do they want the same time alone? If you want time alone and you want your personal space, are they still wanting, are they still in the cycle uh, of doing and wanting and giving and, and wanting to talk? and Or are they, if they're in the same space you are at the same time, Pisces and Pisces can get along just great. But if one Pisces wants this personal time and this space, I need space. The other Pisces does understand, but they're not in the same cycle. So when you come out of that cycle, okay, I had my space, I feel much better now, much clearer headed. Uh, where's Pisces? Well, no, they want their personal space. So if you you got to kind of line up when you each want personal space, you know, it's got to be a together thing with Pisces. Pisces, I hope you understand what I'm saying. Let's go over to the other side here. There is um, imbalance here. There is someone who is feeling imbalance over a lover. What do they think of you, Pisces? Well, I really do feel that they probably feel the same way that you do. You haven't walked away, and neither have they. But with the Queen of Pentacles coming out here, this is a Pisces that really feels interactive with another Pisces, really feels enriched by another Pisces, enlightened by another Pisces. Standing at the crossroads to make a decision. And this is probably where the imbalance is coming from. What do I do? What do I do? Where do I go? Trying to get the strength. Strength card coming out here. Trying to get the strength to communicate. They want to talk. Unfortunately, there's absolutely no communication here whatsoever. None. But let's throw some more cards out here. But what I have for you is Pisces that you're dealing with is also feeling this soulmate connection. Having strength to try to come forward. Let's put a couple more cards out here for you, Pisces. Let's give them a cut. With the Page of Wands reversed, the Knight of Wands upright, the Moon, one more, Five of Cups in the reverse. Pisces, I, I do feel you've done a good work in yourself. I do feel that there are times of uh, a great sliding back, a great falling back. <clears throat> it starts with a small amount of passion. I remember the good times with us, Pisces. And then it works itself up. Now the passion here is not like overblown. It's a night. 
It goes from a page to a night. And I'm not going to feel any passion for this Pisces. Uh, I, I got to draw the sword. I got to move on. They kind of took over my ship. Uh, I've got to get my ship back. And my heart, my ship. I got to get my ship back. I can get ship shape here. And, and there's, I've released the nightmare. The tower is gone. I don't feel as bad as I did. But there's something that you're not seeing here. With the moon card coming out, which is Pisces. So the passion starts by the thought. Uh, I remember the good times I had with Pisces. They, they were good times. They weren't all bad times. They were good times. And then the passion comes in. The wanting to speak to Pisces. The wanting for that comradeship. But the moon is here. The moon is saying something that you're not seeing. What are you seeing? You're seeing, I'm not looking back. I could see the two cups behind me. Five of cups reverse. I see the two cups behind me uh, of possibilities and doors opening. And I'm going for it. Wow. <laughs> Oh, holy crap. <laughs> Damn. How the hell do I read this? <laughs> I thought something else was going to come out, Spirit. But <laughs> Okay, so what you're not seeing is that you've got two cups in your hands. And that you're looking at possibilities of forging and moving ahead. And what I have was doubled up in nines. Nine of Cups and the Tickety Boo card. The Nine of Pentacles. Now, Pisces, you're, you're headed for uh, a wish fulfillment that'll bring everything in line. All chakras, your chi, everything. Everything is just going to snap all together. Whatever this is, now it, it could be the other Pisces. Or it could be, <laughs> instead of looking back at three cups, holding two cups of possibilities for the future. Uh, you, you're not seeing it, but are you? I, I think you're doing a good work in yourself, but there's still, there's still a, a soulmate here that I'm seeing. And then suddenly, out of the blue, you're holding two cups, and these two cups are doubled up in nines. A wish fulfilled. And the Nine of Pentacles. Oh. Well, that, that threw me. Okay. I've been reading that for a while. And equal give and take. One more card for that. With the Ten of Pentacles coming out here. Pisces. Uh, are, what are you headed for? Greatness? Are, are you what, what are you headed for? The Ten of Pentacles is security and, and, the, and the ability to give and, and to take back and to give. And at the end of the year, doing your taxes and putting in those receipts of donations and stuff that you did. And, and, and getting back and then giving and then getting back and give. It's just equal give and take, equal give and take. And, and security, security, money, security. All right, let's go to the other side because Pisces, you got me totally confused. I just what? What is your wish? Because whatever your wish is, I, I mean, I can't read it if it's love. I, I can't read it if it's if it's riches. All I can say is it looks like riches. It, it looks like great success in something, and, and all the pentacles doesn't have to be money. But it can be just enlightening experiences and, 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 and feeling great. But let's go to the other side. Oh, my God. Let's go to the other side and find out what's happening there. So with the... Oh, wow. Okay. So with the five five coming out here. Now, I hate fives. 
the, the Five of Pentacles is Pisces thinking about leaving something out in the cold because they're tired of fighting. Tired of fighting. Tired of being blocked. Tired of fighting. And the world card coming out is stepping from one cycle into another. Sometimes it can be the same cycle, only better. So let's let's keep going. Let's keep picking things here. The Queen of Wands coming out. <clears throat> the Seven of Cups. The Ace of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles. And the Empress. Well, holy crap. Passion and desire and um, working on one's surroundings. Doors opening that are very, very prosperous. Doors opening that are very prosperous. The Ace of Pentacles. All you got to do is wait. And with the Empress here, just waiting for my ideas to take root so that I will be prosperous. But what are these ideas? Now, spirit has just got me to the point where both sides are looking at enlightenment of riches. <clears throat> both sides are thinking of each other as a soulmate. Both sides seem to be doing, well, one is doing very, very well. This Pisces is doing very, very well. But on the other side, they apparently seem to be doing very, very well. Uh, they do feel that um, they're stepping into another cycle. They're tired of fighting, of being left out in the cold, or or maybe leaving someone out in the cold and tired of fighting. But then there's this thing about, I'm going to work on my surroundings. Um, so we're going to go, <laughs> now let's go to the witch. Let's go to the witch. Let's ask Spirit. Well, these two Pisces, what, what is the enrichment? The both of you are feeling a stalemate. Both of you. Will you come together? Is this, I, I mean, for both sides to like do spectacularly well? It is, well, it's Twilight Zone is what it is. I mean, I'm doing great. Wow, they're doing great. Why is everybody all of a sudden doing great? Spirit, will they come together? Three cards. Three cards. <laughs> One card. With the Ten of Cups. The Queen of Pentacles. And the Weight card. It's only a matter of time. I'm going to say with the cards that have come out. With the cards that have come out. Now the Ten of Pentacles with a cut. I'm going to say, Pisces, the great possibility of you two coming back together again is at an all-time high with the energies that I'm reading. Please listen to your instinct. Please listen to your intuition. You know, if you can feel them, you know. If, if you feel that there's a chance, they're going to feel that there's a chance, especially if you've got that, that telepathy together. But this is what I got. And if it's not, but with the Gypsy Witch coming out here, with Spirit coming in, I'm going to have to say it is. It is a reunion. But you're going to have to wait, though. It's, it's not something that is going to happen overnight. You will have to wait. And it looks like, uh, well, it really looks like it's going to be good. It is somebody, are you going to open the door? If they come back, are you going to open the door? And with this Ace of Pentacles coming out here, but also waiting for ideas. This could also be uh, someone who is not waiting for business ideas to take route or route. But it, it could be someone who is just waiting for ideas on how to return. Pisces, Pisces. <laughs> I, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. Please take that only as it resonates. If it's not your reading, it's not your reading. 
But you know what? Both sides seem to be doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. I want to thank you for joining me today. And if you like the way I read, please like, share, subscribe. And on your way out, if you could hit that thumbs button. That thumbs up or that like button, whatever it is that you have for spirit, I would really appreciate that. And we'll see you tonight at 7 p.m. Ontario time for Are You Chosen? Namaste.